Okay, if you go here, where the example one, they give you the the limit. Okay, the limit. I would say this is a plate double integral. There is the order of integration. There, there are limits provided. Okay, but just now I just want to show you that uh, uh, for if you want to change the order of integration, so the answer should be the same. But with the condition that you cannot just swap the location. So I already show you just now, right? Okay, now um, based on this example, so now let's see how about if a, a question where the limit are not given directly. So what you have to do? Okay, just like uh, rule the act you uh obtain okay the, the the order of integration is already given so in this case uh you should have the information about the region i would say that uh, the question must have or they must give you the extra information to tell you what is the shape of the region that you must have normally they will give you uh, equations then from the equations uh, you have to combine and, uh, uh, information provided. Okay, so that is the thing that I want to highlight. So I, I don't want to explain every single thing here. So I will just give you the, uh, the, the I will explain to you directly from the example too. So I'm sure that after you done this, we done this, you understand what is going on, then you have to refer back. This is the general step. So that's why I don't want to explain to here. So I'm sure that you just this got blue, right? So that's why I will explain to you uh, using the example, which is example 2 here. Okay, so what example 2? So in example 2 of integration, as you can see here, since they, they, they don't give you any information on the limit especially, so they will give you extra information which uh, tells you uh, the shape of the region. So as you can see here, they uh, explain here the region and close by. This is um just to I just put double dot just to say that what is the region looks like. So the region is is a close and bounded region, uh where enclosed by the um, the lines. So you have how many equation here? One, two, three. You got three lines. You have no using all the equation given here. So you have to sketch them on. Um, y0 x equal to 1 is just a straight line so i will start with sketching the curve but it is not the really straight line it is also straight line but there is a slope right so i don't really follow the scale yeah so i just uh, sketch it without follow the the exact scale so that is the uh, y f x is the line and the three lines provided you have to shade the region uh, for this particular sketching, we have no idea where is the, what is the shape and where is the region actually, right? So now we refer back the information. So your region should be enclosed by y equal to 0 and y equal to 2 x, the green one, and then x equal to 1, the yellow one. So which one we put R to the next dx particular example, you want to have y constant or you want to have x constant. Okay, so let's say uh, I decided here to have x constant. So when uh, when I want when okay, to be constant or which one to be function, you have to look at your integrand and ask yourself: Is this function? Is this equation? Is easily integrate first with respect to x? Do you think it is okay if you want to integrate with respect to x? Yes, because you just have an x plus y. So, if you want to integrate with respect to x, you just x squared over 2 plus y, x. Or you might want to, maybe some of you want to integrate with respect to y. Is there any issue then? Is there any problem then for you to integrate? Also, no problem. Okay, so meaning that you have to do both. Both will be okay. Okay? And then the second one, you have to look at the equation that you have. Because the equation here, will give you the limit, right? So based on the equation here, you will get the region. And from this region, you can get the limit, isn't it? So the limit will, de uh, will depends on the equation from here. So uh, if you want to have, uh, if x constant, y should, should be function, right? So now, the limit y itself, you have to have y equal to, y equal to y from, from 
which y to which y. So it is y equal to. So if you choose y function, so it's just nice, right? You can just use the, the expression here directly without rearrangement. Okay, but if you want to have x function, so you have to rewrite, especially this one. Yeah, especially this one, you have to rewrite where, where your x here now, x equal to y over 2. But still no issue. You can, because you, in this case, you have a simple uh, a simple uh, integral and simple equation. So it should be no problem. Okay, let's say we want to have x constant. So I choose the second one. x constant, have x constant, then you have to sketch the width of this yellow, this uh, orange line, line between x equal to y to x equal to y. So you, you can see that uh, this one is passing through the origin, right? So you can see that the smallest x should be 0 and the highest x should be 1. So you can see that the limit, and now we can, which is y, you have to refer to the yellow line again. Okay, since you choose that, uh, the x constant, so now you, uh, we want to get the limit of y, so now we are thinking that you are moving upward. Okay, so, okay, and then you're walking slowly upward, and what is your first or initial point? Which uh, part of the region should be over here, right? So that point is belongs to which line? You have this blue line, right? So this blue line is belongs to x equal to, uh, y equal to. Thinking about y, so you have to focus on y only. So this uh, green uh, green point is belongs to this line, and this line is belongs to y equal to. Okay, and keep going upward. You're walking slowly upward, and your terminal point, your which is part of the the green line so the green equal to because you have y here so y equal to to and that function without the arrangement okay so now you occur so as you can see here uh one of the one out of four okay one of the limit it is a function so you will get not rectangle which is good but it's not you don't need to so now I would say we have a, a complete double integral. So just now we just have the A, now we have the order. And also based on the order of integration and also the region that we sketch, we can have the limit. So now we proceed with respect to Y first. It will give you the integrate respect to Y x constant. So now to replace this normal. Uh, we start to X. So X, the X. As you can see here, uh, your expression only in terms of x now. Uh, you have 2x squared. And you will get 4x dx. 3x cubed. If you go to the next level, again and again. Uh, another, all the other, okay? Just for, to have, you want to know idea, what is the limit of x and y? It should be not the same. You cannot just swap the location, okay? So to get that, you have to refer to your, okay, let's say I resketch. So that is your R. Uh, so this is X. The answer should be, don't change everything. Uh, I mean, okay. So now, we have the X, Y, which means that Y is constant. Constant. When Y is, maybe some, it, it is come to sketch the horizontal, correct? Okay. Uh, well, now we want to get the limit of y. So based on your um, line here, so the smallest value lying over here, right? So obviously, this smallest value of y is belongs to y equal to 0. So we, but now at the moment, we have no idea what is the value of y. Right. So as we know that uh, from the previous information, this one is x equal to 1. So once when x equal to 1, the y value is just replace x equal to 1. So you got x equal to, sorry, just replace x equal to 1. Then you will get y equal to 2. So now you know that. So, one of the action. Okay, now look at again the horizontal line here. The red line here, which is parallel to the x axis. So it, it, it looks like you are walking from the left to the right. From the smaller value of x to the larger value of x. So now you start walking. And what is the first point or initial point that you can see 
lying on that region along this vertical line. So you this point right, this belongs to which line? So the line of. But since you want to get x equal to, not y equal to, so meaning that you, so you have x. So your lower bound, this is the first point that you can see, which is become your lower bound. So the lower bound is belongs to x equal to two. Okay, and then you keep going, walking to the right slowly, and the terminal point is. So that point is part of which line? This line, right? So what is the equation of this line? You have x equal to. Uh, sorry, we are thinking about the, the the. Yeah, x. Yeah, x. No, okay. Now we are th uh, thinking of x, right? Not y. Sorry, just I'm just dreaming. Okay. Uh, so the highest value of x. So now just now y over two. And the highest value of x is lying over here, which is belongs to x equal to 1. Okay, why, why you have uh, this one constant x equal to 1? As you can see that uh, any line, with the highest value of x is always on that straight line, which is always at x equal to 1. So that's why you have a constant here. Okay, but this one, if you, if you provide many lines, so the value of the x is... Is changing. Changing is depends on the curve, the curve function. So what is the curve function of this? The function of the the equation of the curve uh, along this line. So we have a function that constant if which is based on the equation that we have. We got x equal to y over two. Okay. So now we already have the limit set of double integral back to x. Remember y constant. So x become x squared over two. And y become y x. Okay, remember we now we are integrating with respect to x. Okay, so you have x squared of y to x equal to x. So you have over 2. I uh, should start with the x equal to 1, sorry. Okay, over 2. So 1 of mass is uh, order of integral. Y. So we have here 2 squared 4, 4 to 8 y squared this one y squared over 2 and then we have the same uh, y squared then we can simplify and we will get this so now the x y squared over 2 0 to 2 for minus uh, minus or over so have both one which is the x y i have it based on your for the 